miserable weather. But today I wanted to show you a local mass rock and holy well here in uh, Grass Hall, about five kilometers from my house. So uh, these uh, mass rocks and holy wells, I mean, they're generally associated with saints and they have some miraculous cures. Uh, during the penal times two centuries ago, basically mass had to be held secretly, you know, out in the open at a mass rock. So um, let me show you this uh, mass rock and holy well. Okay, so right here's the entrance and uh, Cavan County Council, Cavan Heritage, part of Cavan County Council have sort of done up this area. There's still a mist that lifts to air, the silver dew, the holy rock, the shining deepening well. So let's take a, a walk in here, okay? So, basically, Let's go first to the Mass Rock. So the, there was a story told by um, a person who died in 1884, 103 years of age, that he recalls going to Mass here early morning and a local couple giving a child oaten bread to keep it quiet so that the soldiers who were nearby wouldn't hear the Mass being um, celebrated. So they, they, they were difficult times for sure so let me climb up here now and show you the the mass rock so yeah you'll have to forgive me the weather's not so good but um so here you have it there's the mass rock so the masses were held here on this rock away from the main road and away from the the soldiers so yeah, very interesting stories. A lot of these mass rocks and holy wells that come with them. You know, the holy wells. I remember my father bringing me here as a kid. And uh, you know, they were very special places, the holy wells. So now here, you can see some candles on the rocks. And up there you'll notice there's rosary beads hanging down from the trees. From the bushes, I should say. Somebody's put some rosary beads up there. So here's the holy well. So you can see, there's the well. Please do not put coins in the well, but people do, because it brings you luck. So there's the Virgin, there's the Virgin Mary. Let's take a look at the, yeah, some rosary beads people have left behind, tied to the tree. So there you have it. Very interesting, yeah. Yeah, I recall my father coming here when I when I was um, when I was uh, yeah a child. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I re I remember him coming here and rubbing this water on his head. And that's why he had a full head of hair all his life now. Maybe I should take some, some tip from this, but it's a bit too late putting, putting some water in this stone, but, but I'm gonna do it anyhow. It might bring me luck in other ways. So I'm dipping in here and I'm rubbing it on my head. <laughs> so there you have it. I'm a blessed man now, yeah? So I will put some links in uh, about holy wells and mass rocks in Ireland. So, um, yeah, very interesting. I just want to show you this local mass rock. It's about five kilometers from, from where I live. Pity the weather wasn't better, but these things happen. So, yeah, very, very holy place.